Alright. So, potentially last match, or last game for this match, as Story Pines is currently at match point 4 to 1. Where's my display? There it is. Oh, he's not Technic Protoss. Whoops. There we go. Oh, whoops. God damn it. God damn it. There we go. Okay. So, to the top left as the loser playing for Everest Menlo High Schools, it is Paper Boat. And to the bottom right as the Red Terran, it is Ibird Food currently getting two kills for his team. And he's playing for Tory Pines. I don't even know if I said that. <coughs> um, so yep, this is potentially the last match. Bird Food looking to close it out here, but Paper Boat is definitely a pretty good player in his own regard. High Masters, 1100 points, so not too shabby at all. Uh, Star Station is the map. I'm not. I know uh, Protoss hates this map versus Zerg. I'm not quite sure how uh, Terran feels against Zerg on this map, though. Um, it is still obviously a wide open map, so um, they could still possibly hate it. But you know, tanks and widow mimes are are quite good. And we got a drone scout coming out here from Paper Boat. Going to go cross map as that is the only possible spawns that he could be in. And we have a reactor, a refinery going down as well, so we're going to most likely be seeing a reaper opening or a extremely fast tech. Um, it was a gas after it racks though, so it's probably not like a factory right at 100 gas. It's probably going to be a reaper, but again, I could be terribly wrong because I don't actually play Terran. And we got the expansion coming down. Looks like it was a 15 hatch. Indeed, it was. So absolutely standard coming here from Paper Bug and be playing normal macro. Uh, at least for the most part, unless he decides to drop gas right now and a pool and just gonna go for like a speedling buster or something. But that's kinda weird and not really seen. Oh, the drone's actually gonna get trapped in here right here. So that's a little unfortunate. Uh, Paper Boat just gonna harass the SCV as much as he could. And there we go, we do have the Reaper opening. So thank god I don't look like an idiot. And this SCV might go down. He's gonna pull it away though. This uh, fight was gonna get delayed a bit. So he's gonna have to send another one out there to be able to finish that. Uh, he better repair that or something. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if he actually loses that, wait a minute, is he gonna lose the? Oh my! Wait, what? It attacked it again, though. Oh shit, dude! Repair that fucking SCV. Holy Jesus Christ! You're living life on the edge right now. Wow, I can't believe he didn't kill that. It's crazy. So the Reaper's out. Uh, Paper Boat does know about it though, as it did attack his drone. And he's actually sending it up here. Why is he doing that? Does he not? He apparently doesn't know that this is cross only. Um, that's a little weird. I mean, even the the map, the uh, ladder map version, is cross only. So I don't know. I don't know why he doesn't know that. It's kind of weird. A little lucky for Paper Boat, so the uh, Reaper didn't get there as quickly as it possibly could. Is that a second Reaper? Yes, it is. So two Reapers coming out. Gonna do as much damage as possible right into a factory and a reactor, most likely for some widow mines. Uh, we obviously still can see Hellions as well. It's definitely not an, uh, not out of the out of question here, but widow mines are definitely very very popular. If we see a starport coming down uh, right up to this factory as well, I would definitely assume would be a widow mine drop. Clan Sander's going to get delayed a little bit here as these lings come down to harass this SCV and there's actually nothing here to deal with that. Uh, Reaper's going to come back and be able to kill those and the Reaper up in the main is going to get denied by this queen. Might actually die in the it does. It's a little sloppy there from Bird Food. He probably wanted to save that. By probably, I mean he did want to save that. And there we go. Here's the... Whoa! Nope. It's going to be a Hellion. Never mind. He made a Widow Mine but then cancelled it. He's going to go double Hellions. Gonna continue marine production, not gonna get any add-ons on that quite yet, but also get a third command center, so he's gonna play pretty greedy. Which is pretty standard for Terran and TVZ anyway, usually they try to get their third command center as quickly as they possibly can while teching up. Uh, looks like he's gonna get two Hellions and then go into the double Widow Mines. So these two Hellions are probably just gonna go up to poke a little bit, possibly try to deny any Creep Doomers that decide to go down. 
And we got double evolution chamber and a roach warren coming down from paper boat. I don't I I'm not quite sure if this roach warren is early enough to be like one of those like seven roach bust kind of things to try to deal pressure while they then just macro up. Or if it's just a defensive roach warren versus hellions or anything. Uh, he's getting 1-1 one, one now, though, as well. And he's getting the ranged plus 1, so that means he's going to be committing to roaches and or hydras uh, instead of just getting a couple for defense or just going for an uh, early bust. So that will be interesting to play out. A lot of zergs are going uh, a lot of bling heavy styles now instead of the focus on roaches and hydras. Uh, it's pretty much always been like that. Um, you usually don't see that much roach hydra or roaches in uh, ZBT for the most part. But uh, he looks like he's going to be doing that. Yeah, and these Hellions are just poking up a little bit, trying to do what they can, which isn't really that much. And uh, Birdfuge is just going to sit back for now, get his uh, barracks up, get his 1-1 started. Uh, I would hope he would do that. And uh, third base goes down, as well as the lair is going to be finishing up here. So we'll see exactly what kind of tech Paper Boat decides to go for, whether it be Mutas, some Hydras, or uh, Swarm Posts even. I don't even think you see Swarm Host this early versus Terra now. I don't see why you would. Usually you only get Swarm Host versus Mech, right? <coughs> Pretty sure. Word of Mine's still being produced. Uh, no tanks or anything yet, and he's not continuing. Oh, excuse me. Word of Mine production just yet, so uh, I'm curious to see as to what like his primary splash will be. Usually you try to get either tanks or widow, uh, a large quantity of tanks or widow mines to deal with the large uh, bailing and link counts that usually come out of Zerg. But we're not exactly seeing any of that from Zerg. Instead, we are seeing the Hydra list again. So we're going to see Roach Hydra out of paper, but this is definitely a style you can do. He will go into um, uh, Vipers as well, eventually. And he's also starting 2-2 right away. But uh, you do have to be very good with your control and... Uh, to be able to actually pull off for a charger versus a good turn, otherwise you, you'll pretty much just get rolled. You need to be able to get, land good blinding clouds and whatnot. <coughs> Excusey. However, we do not see an infestation pit for a really quick hive or anything just yet. It's gonna just be getting some roaches and hydras as well as the upgrades for the hydras, uh, just for now. And one one. Is about to finish as well. Is there an armory down? Seems like a structure style. With the front of the, would that be a thing? There it is. There's no armory. So that's actually terrible. Uh, definitely need to be getting that armory up so that he can make that 2 2. As he is quite behind in that regard. 2 2, basically halfway done now for the Zerg. And a good amount of Hydra's coming out as well, so he's going to start massing up the army. Looking to do a push eventually. Making a lot of hydras now. So he's probably gonna be wanting to get a, a bit aggressive soon. As he's not teching up any further than this, it leads me to believe that he's probably gonna try to push with this sometime soon. Uh, but again I could be terribly wrong. Bird food pretty much staying as passive as you could past the two Reaper opening. He's just been sitting back behind his widow mines and just expanding as much as he could. Getting his fourth base now as well, getting some extra barracks, and getting pretty late combat shields actually. Did he get stim yet? Good, he did. We've <laughs> we've been seeing a very minimal amount of uh, marine upgrades coming out this series. So still no tech, just a lot of hydras being produced. How many are we at right now? We're at 18 Hydralists, that's a lot of Hydras. So he's pretty much just massing up as many units as he possibly can, do a big bust before he gets up to Hive Tech or anything. So we'll see how exactly that goes for him. He's got, he's gonna have 2-2 with this. So we'll see exactly how this goes. We got uh, a pretty pretty good amount of Widow Mines. We've got eight it looks like. So that can definitely do a lot of damage. He is leading with a couple roaches though, that is very nice there. But you're just gonna, he's going to need a couple more than that to be able to trigger all these Widow Mines. A couple more going off right onto the army. There are no medevacs with this with this army. That's completely puzzling. That's going to make it so this Roach Hydra absolutely rolls. 
this Terran over. Where are the medivacs? What in the what? Like, I don't even understand. Without medivacs, the bio army is just absolutely melting to the Sroch Hydra. And this CC is going to be forced to lift the SCVs retreating as well. And bird food is looking to be in a pretty terrible spot right now. Paper boat's completely maxed and up 100 supply. <coughs> this is quite terrible uh, for bird for, for bird, yeah, blah, 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 bird food. I don't understand what he was doing. He did not make medivacs. It's quite weird. But uh, bird or er, paper boat just gonna kind of walk in here. No micro required. Just gonna one a one a along here, and the army's just gonna die. So paper boat starting what could be a reverse all kill. The GG gets thrown down. Paper boat getting the second score for the Everest and Menlo high schools. Pretty solid play there. Really weird how Bird Food didn't make medevacs. <laughs>